Hey everyone, it's Roger Master here from Ingersoll Music Academy. We have this awesome talent guitar. Never heard of the brand before, but it's looking all right. What's going on? New customer comes into the shop. They want to give this guitar to their grandkid. I think that's, you know, pull out my heartstrings. Great choice. You might as well get everyone in the world a musical instrument. But as you can see, the action is extremely high. So customer comes in, just asks for us to do a simple string change. Definitely needs new strings. Totally agree. But... As you can see, it's going right off the Richter's there. So it's over 3.5. It's gotta be four. I don't think it's five millimeters. Okay, maybe it's almost five millimeters high. We want this around 2.5. So we're gonna have to take a lot off the bridge to get it there. Um, usually when a customer just wants a simple string change, we can do that, but I would much rather get the guitar set up. I would hate to have the experience of a young kid wanting to learn how to play a musical instrument and pick this up and the first time they go to play it, their hands hurt, their fingers are stuck under the other strings, that type of thing. The other thing I always recommend is put super light gauge strings. So even the 10 to 47s, I think they're coming out with a nine to 45 or 44. I'd recommend that, keep it light. You can even detune a guitar to make it so there's less tension on the strings. I think it's really important to do those type of things. Um, this one really needs to be linseed oiled as well too, so you can see the fretboard's really dry. These frets need to be polished. I mean, this one's pretty, pretty rusted out, and it makes a big difference for the tone of the guitar. So lowering the bridge a lot, getting the action low, really makes a difference on how we play and we'll kind of do a couple different clips of this one put it together and you'll kind of see what it plays like after but right now to play this thing um yeah i mean i wouldn't even play i, I don't think my fingers are strong enough. They're, they're like underneath the thing all right so they're underneath uh um how high the strings are but cool so our first process in lowering the saddle is putting in this device here. We're gonna take 2.5 uh, millimeters off and then we're gonna check the action after that. We're also gonna adjust the truss rod down here just to get the neck a little bit straighter. Gotten the action down to just about three millimeters, just under three millimeters. I'd like to see it more at 2.5 on this side. So we're gonna take just under a millimeter off of the saddle again, just a little bit more. We're gonna polish the frets. I use a little Dremel polishing wheel. Um, I'll show you the before. It's not that exciting to see. It's pretty noisy, but I'll show you the after as well. And this is the after. As you can see, they are super shiny now. We're gonna linseed all the fretboards, make it a little bit darker. And then we've adjusted the truss rod, so we're pretty much done. We just put the strings on. That'll be about it. The bridge and the fretboard all oiled up. You can see the colors change, really dark, nice. This guitar looks pretty much brand new now. It's pretty amazing what we can do, right? Um, and we'll put the strings on. I'm at my bench at the store location, so we have the strings all strung up. I like to use my Ernie Ball Pro Peg Winder. And then this is the big thing that we do. It makes such a big difference, this string stretch out. This thing, I'll just show you how it works. We run it across the strings like this, and it takes out all of the slack in them. I am videotaping, so I'm kind of holding it kind of funny, but. Like that, we run across all the strings. We'll tune it up and we'll take a little quick demo. Listen to it. You can see, I got it just where I like it. It's actually at two on low E string millimeters, and then they're just above. And then on the highest string, you can see I got it down to 2.25. Once we put tension on the strings and tune it up, it's probably gonna go a little bit higher, but that's where we like to see it. Right, we got it all tuned up, and the action's around two millimeters, exactly what we wanna see on the low E string. And then on the high E string, we're seeing 1.25. For her, I think it's for a little girl, it's gonna be ideal that she has as low action as she can to make sure she's much more likely to be able to continue to play and she'll be much more chance to actually that she'll play it because it'll be a lot easier. Yeah, this is that talent guitar that we did a setup on. Sounded good too.